Hey Learn Hi folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use him pronouns. In case you're wondering why the sky is darker than the later footage in this video, it's because initially I planned to do a jumping front kick and jumping roundhouse kick video, two-in-one video, but then I finished filming my jumping front kick video and I'm like, it's way too long and I don't want to drag it out more. So I'm refilming my intro. So in this video, it's the fourth video in my Taekwondo unboxing tutorial series and we are going to learn how to do a jumping front kick. So it's an aerial kick. So if you're here, I'm assuming that you are somewhat familiar with a front kick and know how to throw a front kick without jumping because this video is like level up. It's a front kick but we are going to be adding a jump to it so it's like level up. And I'll link the front kick video, the ground front kick video in the description box if you would like to go there. If you're here, let's get started and I hope you enjoy. Actually, disclaimer before we start learning, uh, please make sure you are somewhat warmed up uh, before throwing aerial kicks because we don't want to hurt ourselves and please don't kick too high, like kick at a level that you're comfortable with, like please don't try and kick up here when your level at the moment is like down here. There's no shame in kicking low. When I started, I kicked low. When I started, I couldn't do a front kick for shit. I couldn't even do a front kick, let alone a jumping front kick. So it's okay to not know how to do something and it's okay to work towards it slowly. There's no shame in saying I'm a beginner and I'm learning still. And anyone who shames you for that, you know, just take the words and dump it in the bin because it's just garbage. I should say before I start that regardless of which leg you're kicking on and whether you're right-legged or left-legged, I say this in every video but I think it's important to reiterate, the technique and the concept is exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you're kicking with your right leg or your left leg or which side you're more comfortable with, the concept, technique, exactly the same on both sides. Right, we're gonna start with jumping front kick. So. Front kick, I'm, I'm not going to explain that, it's kick straight out like this. Jumping front kick, it's, there's like two ways we can throw it. We can do it from a standing or we can do a running up jumping kick. I'm going to start with just a staying in one spot and throwing the kick. Why do I, I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I, I realize I hand talk a lot as well. So anyway, different topic, jumping front kick. So I'm going to start with my right leg at the back because I'm right. I'm right, uh, right side dominant, but I'm going to do demos on the other side too. If I want to kick my right leg for a jumping kick, we're going to lift up the opposite knee. So I'm kicking for my, I'm kicking with my right leg. So I'm going to start off by lifting my left knee. And the arrow kick is a bit different in a way because we are jumping off the leg that we're kicking from. So I'm going to kick off my right leg, therefore I'm going to jump off my right leg so it's it's like literally bounce it pretend you're hopping on one leg but then instead of hopping we're gonna we're gonna flick our foot out and this might get take some time to get used to and that's 100 percent okay and i do recommend that you warm up a little bit before throwing air kicks like i haven't warmed up properly like i was training before but i was doing boxing and not really kick so we don't want to overstretch our muscles um and again, it's okay to kick low as well, so... Jump in front kick. We're lifting the opposite knee up. We're gonna jump off our kicking leg. It's like this. Instead of, instead of hopping... Oh my god, I'm losing balance. Instead of hopping, we're gonna jump and flick our kicking leg forward. Same with the other side. Now I'm gonna jump on my left leg. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so out of breath, so I just... I filmed the other video and now I'm filming this video. It's okay, it's okay. Please excuse my out of breathness. Actually, I need to breathe. Alright, let's resume. So, now I'm gonna do a jumping front kick off my left leg, which is my non dominant leg. So, same concept, I'm gonna lift my non kicking leg up. In this case, I'm kicking with my left leg, so I'm gonna lift my right leg up. And it's the same, it's, it's, we're jumping off, we're jumping off our kicking leg. But instead of just hopping up, God, we are going to flick our foot forward. And again, I'm going to demo it again. 
kicking my left leg, lifting my right knee up, my non-kicking leg, jumping off my kicking leg, flicking it forward. Actually, I'll do this angle too. I'm going to demo the kick from a different angle so you can see, see it from a different angle. So this one, I'm not going to explain. I'm, I'm going to kick with my right leg. I'm just going to demo it. And again, I'm going to demo it. And now I'm going to kick with my left leg, which I'll stand on this side for. Now I'm going to kick with my left leg before I kick with my right leg. And demo one more time. It's actually really tiring. Aerial kicks are very tiring. I was watching back that video and I made one mistake and that's I dropped my hand. So I said usually we keep our hands up but I became a little slacky so I realized I wasn't keeping my hand up so when we train or when we practice please keep your hands up it's like a bad habit I have of like dropping my, my hands down here we don't want to do that I realized I was dropping my hands for the demo this this is what we want to do and so, uh, it's a mistake I still made dropping my hands like this because my shoulders get tired and I'm just like I can't be bothered but then Ideally, we want to keep our hands up at all times because it's defense. So yeah, another thing, a thing I picked up. I'm gonna break it down. Like I guess the first step is to become familiarized with hopping on one leg. So we never hopped on one leg before. A way to practice the foundations of jumping front kick is to like hop off, hop off the kicking legs. So my right legs at the back right now. Just practice hopping off like this. Just practice hopping like a kangaroo. Like what's that hopscotch when we played when we were younger? If you are sort of from my generation it's like hopscotch just 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 practice hopping on a leg if your left left leg dominant lift your right leg up and hop in hopping like a kangaroo hopping like this because it's important we are able to jump and flick our leg out because that's what makes the kick aerial we jump off our kicking leg it might be unorthodox but that's what we do so yeah again demo Kicking up on my right leg. We're kicking off with, we're jumping off our kicking leg. For the running up kick, it's the same concept. We still jump off our kicking leg. It's more, if we add a run up, yeah, it might be a little bit more confusing, but we run up, but we still make sure, we still make sure we jump off our kicking leg. I don't know how to demo run up. Let me try. So right now, I'm off camera, I have my right leg at the back, so I'm going to run up and I kick with that leg. I'm going to run up with my left leg now. I'm going to kick with my left leg now. And I start in a fighting stance with my left leg at the back, I'm going to run up. Alright, that was horrible, never mind. So I'm going to run up and kick like so. I don't know how well that angle looked, but... Alright, now this is the part of the video where we practice together as I said before. Please make sure you've done like a little bit of warm up and maybe some stretching. And please don't kick too high. Like kick within a level that you feel comfortable and where you're not over stretching your legs. If you're a beginner, I do not recommend kicking up all the way up here because we don't want to injure our legs. So I've actually had an incident where I didn't warm up properly, right? And then I threw a jumping front kick like up here and then I injured my, my leg for like a few weeks because I didn't warm up I overstretched something and it did not end well for me so we don't we want to prevent injuries okay I'm not gonna hold on to anything for this one and for the purpose of this practice with me exercise we are not gonna do a round up we're more we're gonna stay in one spot and then we're gonna do that from there so I'm gonna start my right leg again actually this time I'll switch I'll start with my left leg. So, this is for the people who are left-handed. I'm not saying you can't do both sides, but this section is tailored towards people who are left-handed and have their left leg as the dominant leg. So, let's start. Again, we're gonna... Let, I'll, I'll count and then I'll explain. Uh, I'll, I'll guide you along with each kick. So, ready? Hands up. I wanna try and keep my hands up. Left, don't teach bad habits. Hands up, one, lift your non-kicking leg, lift your front leg up, two, jump off your kicking leg and flick it forward. And then it's okay to land with our kicking leg forward because it's very hard to like 
kick and then just bring it back like this so it's okay to drop our kicking leg forward and then we just bring it back to original position right let's go two lift not kicking leg jump off your kicking leg bring it back <laughs> three lift sorry lift your non kicking leg jump bring it back I'm filming my left left leg kicking by the way so I'm filming this as, as, as if it's a mirror, just mirror exactly what I'm doing. Except for the kicking too high part. Four, lift your non kick, lift your right leg up, kick, drop, bring it back. Five, lift, kick, drop, back. Awesome work. So I'm gonna switch sides now. So. I was kicking my left leg, now I'm going to kick with my right leg for the next 5 kicks. Same concept, exact same concept. Now I'm out of breath again. Hands up, lift, left leg, 1, first kick. Lift your left leg, jump off your kicking leg, and kick straight forward. 2, lift your, non lift your left leg up, jump off your right leg, kick straight forward and then drop it down and bring it back three lift your non-kicking leg jump off your kicking leg drop down bring it back four lift your left leg jump off your right leg drop bring it back five last one lift your shit okay, sorry lift at uh, five lift your left leg Jump off your right leg, kick, land, bring it back. Nice one. I hope you enjoyed the video. The next video I'm gonna be filming is teaching you jumping around house kicks. Um, yes. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Please don't go too hard because we don't want to injure ourselves. And I will see you in the next video.